Alright, you can get off I'm here with my man Kelvin Davis. How's it going? Going good. Training camp in Vegas, man. It's been lovely out here. Mm -hmm. Now, first and foremost, you know, just being around you, you know, in camp and stuff like that. Uh -huh. You know, you're really nice, mellow, chill. You do your thing. Uh -huh. But when you get in the ring, it's a completely different animal. Like, it's, w w what is it that, I don't know, just a little bit about yourself. Just like, what is it about you in the training camp that translates differently in the ring? Uh, I mean, it's boxing. I mean, you got to hit a switch once that bell ring. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, like you said, my personality, like, I'm chill, I'm laid back quiet so it's like hard to read me you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so like i feel like for my uh, boxing related for my opponents they don't they don't know what to expect when i get in the ring you know what i'm saying but like you said once that bell ring i hit that switch and i turn into a whole different person you know in your in the fights that i've seen you know you've had many different styles you switch up and just kind of curious without giving out you know your opponent you know the game what causes you to be like, I'll switch like this, and all of a sudden completely change, you know, like a completely different style? Uh, can I just be one to show the world that, like, I'm an all-around boxer. You know what I'm saying? That I can do, I can inside, outside. You know what I'm saying? I can move fast, strong. You know what I'm saying? I just be trying to display my skills. You know what I'm saying? So I be switching it up, and then a lot of fighters are one-dimensional from round one to to the end of the fight. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm switching it up in the fight and they can't make that adjustment, you know what I'm saying? I got their number. You know, when you're going into these guys, are you looking to kind of like have a, you know, a boxing, you know, show your boxing skills? Or are you looking to create pain and get them out? Because sometimes it feels like it's one way and then it's the other way. You know? uh, I'm trying to knock you out for sure. Okay. But so I'm <laughs> boxing my way into a knockout. Mm -hmm. if I'm pretty sure boxing fans know what I'm trying to say. I'm not going in there just throwing haymakers. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming out. I'm patient. I'm using my jab. I'm thinking. But at the end of the day, as the rounds and rounds go on, I'm trying to get you up out of there for sure. You know, seeing the fact that you're around so many great people and, and your family, like, like the bloodline itself is just, you know, crazy talented, you know, things like that. You know, I, I, I talked to your, you know, your brother about it, but like when you go into these fights and you get out of them safely, and you, you know, and it's the other way around, you watch your brother fight, mm -hmm. does that... Is that more of a, like a bigger kind of stress, you know, for you, or is it just the confidence? Like it's fine, it's not. It uh, I mean, like, like especially like right now in our careers, like I'm knowing we should dominate our opponents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I be wanting all fighters to come out healthy, mm -hmm. even my opponents. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no injuries, no like people be dying in this sport. Like I don't want none of that to happen. You know what I'm saying? I want both fighters to come out healthy. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, of course, I want the victory. But like I don't be wishing, wishing hurt, actual like real hurt on nobody. You know what I'm saying? But I am trying to hurt you if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, and, and, and your your work ethic has always been you know strong, and you're always in the camp working hard. And you know, there's been times where you like kind of had like little pauses in your careers and things like that. And just kind of just curious on just you know what was kind of that that maybe the fans may not know. I mean, I just feel like I had to work harder. Because I was coming back into box, I had took like three years off when I was like 18. I ain't come back till I was about 21 years old. That was, was like 2018. So I ain't come back into boxing till like 2018. You know what I'm saying? I did like two years of amateur, and then I went pro in 2020. But that was COVID year, so I ain't fight all year. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really go pro until 2021. And then like I felt like I had to work twice as hard because I was playing catch up being that I took three years off of boxing, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at my brother, he at all the way at the top level, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm catching up, you know what I'm saying? So I just felt like I had to put in twice as hard of the work to catch up, you know what I'm saying? Like, now, today, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm chopping that distance real short, you know what I'm saying? So everybody who was above me before, they, they, they sooner or later, I'm gonna be passing them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then it been it been a lot of people that already surpassed, you know what I'm saying? Some people like I made I went to the Olympic trials. Uh I came back to boxing in twenty eighteen. The Olympic trials was in twenty nineteen. I had a lot of people I knew that went pro because they couldn't even go make the Olympic trials, you know what I'm saying? So even when I was coming back, me working twice as harder, I was passing people. Now I'm I'm not I'm like I'm still on that same type time and like I'm still putting that work in and I'm trying to I'm trying to be like a world champ soon for sure. Like especially this year, we, we we prospect hunting this year. After I get this fight over with, I'm gonna knock this dude out. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm, I ain't trying to play around for real for it no more. Let's 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 we prospect hunting. Give me some prospects. Like I ain't trying to play around no more. Is there a particular name or someone that you you know you're hunting down or? or? 
uh, I don't really do no name dropping, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, anybody, I don't, I don't duck no action. Mm -hmm. Any prospect at 140, like we can fight. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my skills and my abilities are there. And, and I feel like me in shape and focus can't nobody beat me. So it's like, I ain't anybody, really. We can fight, we can get in the rankings for any belt. I can fight anybody, any prospect. Like, we can fight this year. Shoot, we can fight after this fight. <laughs> I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in Vegas doing an eight week camp for a six rounder, six round fight, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really ready. I can fight 10 rounders, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm gonna take my process like everybody else, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But like after this fight, I want them to give me a prospect, an opponent, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we can get this show on the road. You know, um, just just going into your you know transition professionally, you know you you, you moved and, and you're working with Bo Mack, Red, Saul, Burnt, like the whole squad, you know, out in Omaha, and, and even working with Terrence Crawford, and you, you even got to probably, you know, not probably but spar with Terrence and things like that. Yeah. Just what's that whole experience like working in the camp and even just sharing a ring with like Terrence? Uh, shoot, man, Terrence just spar Saturday. Yeah. But like, it's great, man. They've been elevating my game, and a lot of people don't even know. My first two pro fights, me and my brother was independent. Me and he had no coach. We was training ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my third fight was my first fight training with the B and B team, which is Buff Bud and Bo Mac and them. I mean, it's been great, man. They've been pushing me. They've been, they're elevating my abilities, you know what I'm saying? It's not like they trying to change my style. They just taking what I got and, and elevating it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's been a perfect fit for me. Like we train hard. Every fight I've been with them, I've been in shape. I ain't been having to worry about getting tired, I've been strong, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I've been trusting the process and they've been, been believing in, in me. So I just feel like the sky is the limit for sure. And I got that, I got the heart, I got the mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, I feel like the sky is the limit. You know, and you get to know firsthand, but obviously, you know, being in the ring with Crawford and, you know, obviously not being in, in the Spencer's corner, but like, is Crawford that different in the sense where like, you confidently can feel that he can, Take care of an Errol Spence and all the opponents in that way. Um, just from the stuff that you get to see and work with. Uh, honestly, I, I mean, I never seen Earl Spence in person. Never seen his size. Never seen him spar. Mm -hmm. uh, none of that, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really base it off of. I don't want to just base it off of one side, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I mean, I, I'm rocking with Bud all the way, you know. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. We done grew like over the past about year year or two. We done grew like a personal relationship. So I'm rocking with Bud 100%, and Bud is, to me, he, he's versatile, more versatile than Spence. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's just more versatile. Spence gonna come, like everybody already know how Spence gonna come. He's just, he gonna bring it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Bud can just, he just got a little bit more to his game. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I never seen Spence train or none of that, so. Yeah, so it's a respectful take, you know? Yeah. But, but just something about what you see. Yeah, and the fight-wise, I see, I be seeing Spence coming to fights the same way every time. A lot of guys can't, like all the guys we done fought though couldn't do nothing with it though, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like Bud, him and Bud is going to be that fight that we going to see, like the world going it's, 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 I feel like it's the biggest fight of our, like, I'm going to say our generation. I, it's the biggest fight of, our, of the decade, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The past 10 years, I don't know, this, this fight is the fight two Americans at that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then before I let you go, you know, um, I have one tape just because it's one of the big fights out there and you, you broke that down really well. Mm -hmm. You know, it was obviously a cliche Ryan and, and Taint, but because it's so big and so around the corner, yeah. I, I do want to get your take on that. If that's that. Uh, you know, Tank from the D.C. area, man. You know, we from Virginia, so that's like a couple hours away. So I'm, I'm going to be on it, man. I'm biased. I'm rocking with Tank. I got Tank by knockout. You know what I'm saying? But Ryan is a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? He tall. He got the athleticism. He got that fast hook. I just feel like Tank the all-around boxer. You know what I'm saying? And he got that power. So I just feel like the later rounds, that's going to show the difference. Because everybody going to come out sharp, strong, and fast. And You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to come out on their P's and Q's. But when them rounds get keep going and going and going, I feel like the flaws is going to start showing. And the, the, the mindset and the ring IQ, like everything gonna start playing a part and I feel like Tank gonna get that, he gonna land that shot like he always do, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Well, appreciate the time. Before I let you go, let the fans know where they can follow you. Obviously, you're gonna be fighting. Yes, sir. Fighting, fighting April 8th, New Jersey, ESPN, ESPN Plus. So y'all tune in if y'all can't be there, get the app or 
You know what I'm saying? Watching on y'all TV. Y'all can follow me uh, on Instagram, Kelvin Davis two underscores. Y'all can follow me at Twitter, uh, db 3 kel one underscore. Then y'all can follow my brother's page, db 3 Enterprises, on Instagram. Shout out db 3 shout out BNB, shout out my city, Norfolk, Virginia. That's about it. Awesome. Appreciate you.